the with the wolves. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys on social media, you're not the wolves. You are amazing human beings up to big things, I'm sure. Okay, so any of you guys notice right now, it feels like there's a shift happening in the world. And if, like a good shift. Like there, there feels like there's some momentum starting to build. Any of you guys noticing that? Sloan says yes, majorly. Patricia's like big time. Esteban, Zena, Rita, absolutely. Sarah, oh, oh my gosh, yes, Billy. Okay, so here's what's wild is that is that when it's kind of like that butterfly effect. It's like when a certain group of people start to take the lead, like there's like an up leveling and we have an atmosphere, right? Our atmosphere is in hardcore today, it's the hub, meaning that we're collecting here on this live right now where, where we're, we're working on our businesses and our life, right? We say yes on that, yes. And so, and so when a community starts to have a bunch of people start to skyrocket, it starts to have a ripple effect. And so what I'm experiencing right now is I'm experiencing like a collective effect of people starting to pull up. And so as this pull up starts to happen, I would highly recommend you get disciplined at, at really, um, I would say managing your mind, but it's actually past managing your mind. It's, it's expectation, okay, it's expectation. And so what happens when you think about a big vision or a big dream, you don't know if you can reach it. Am I right or am I right? Some of you guys are literally setting goals right now that you know you can hit and you're being complacent. And, and I, want, I want to rattle you because there's an opportunity and you're not making more life on this planet. We are on a runway and that runway will end, whatever that looks like, right? And so there's this collective, call it rise happening right now around hardcore. Some people are in the community. Some people are just watching the community, right? I just had somebody who's like, I have been watching you for four years and I just did your leadership program and created this wild result, right? And so like, so there's people that are outside the community that kind of stepped in, people who are outside the community that still haven't stepped in. There's people who will never step in. And then there's the people who are in the community. But there is a collective rise happening and I get the, call it the, the, the um, benefit of being the hub where, where I'm, I'm not seeing as many, um, oh my gosh, I'm like a victim or failing. I'm not, seeing, I'm not seeing that at the level that I normally saw it at. What I'm seeing is responsibility. Like, okay, this isn't working, but I own this and it's gonna shift. I'm seeing um, greater aha moments of how your funnels can grow faster or grow bigger. Right, like I'm seeing simplicity is probably one of the best words I could say right now, where people are starting, it's like wealth is starting to become this simple concept. And as that simple concept starts to click in, what happens is you put speed, you put gas on the pedal, and you start to create chunks of cash faster. Does that make sense? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So, so to be highly intentional, this kind of sounds a little woo woo but it works. I go, you guys know, I, I told, I think a few weeks ago, I talked about my miracle walks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is not like, this is not me just saying affirmations because I was the girl who tried affirmations and they actually didn't work for me because I didn't believe in the affirmation. Anybody like me put me, right? Any of you guys like me where it's like, you can say affirmations, but you fall off. You, you, you feel bad because you fall off, but you fall off because you don't really believe this thing is going to work because you don't believe in the affirmation, right? So that was me. And so, so the flip, and I know this is like, it's like a hub of us together. Like you influence me too, right? Like we influence each other. And there's this, um, well, let me just say, share what I do. On the Miracle Walk, I only see things that I can actually see are coming together. So the things that I can see are coming together, like Esteban and um, and uh, Zena and probably Meredith that's starting to come up, like they have a real shot at bringing at winning the Bring a Friend contest. Like they have a real shot. I'm not saying other people don't out there. I'm just saying they're grabbing a hold of it and they're running. So like you guys walk. I'm giving you examples. You guys walk in and just say. 
I'm speaking on the zone stage. Like I won the bring a friend contest and I'm speaking like, thank you God that I won the bring a friend contest because what am I going to speak about on the stage? I'm going to speak about this. And you start to start building your vision because you're like, now you need to think about what are you going to say on the zone stage? Right. And you actually start to prepare the talk that you're going to speak on the zone stage. Right. So I'm doing that with one of my companies that I'm selling. And I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. At first, it was a hope and a dream. It was a great idea, right? How many of you guys are in the idea stage? Put idea in the chat, right? Put idea in the chat, you guys in the idea stage. So I was in the idea stage and you really don't know if that idea is gonna work. But if you keep working it, now here's the thing, most people work ideas slow because they're in the affirmation stage, which is, I don't know if I believe this affirmation. Like it's a smart, it's a smart idea, but I don't know if I believe this aff affirmation. So that's where you have to use discipline to work strategies and start to get light at the end of the tunnel. As soon as you get your first hair standing up moment, instead of letting that moment go away, go on a miracle walk, but then do it every day. One of my best gifts of doing 75 hard has been working out twice a day and reading 10 pages a day. The water is a pain in the ass. I mean, it is a pain. Maybe not for you, Esteban, but for me, the water is a pain because I'm getting up in the middle of the night like 40% of the time going to the bathroom, right? Because I don't get my water all in until the end of the day. I got some room just like you guys to improve. So soon as you see the light, and I bet you have light right now. So right now here to ground this, and I'm gonna bring my guest up here shortly. I want you to, Ask yourself, what is the light at the end of the tunnel that you can see right now? Some of you guys aren't even thinking about this. What's the light at the end of the, end of the tunnel that you can see in your business or your life right now? Right, go in the chat and let us know, like ground it. Right, what's the light at the end of the tunnel that you see? Go in the chat and ground it. When you go in the chat, you are publicly putting it out there. It's the same reason when I teach people how to do registration videos, I have them do it where they record themselves, even though they'll never use it, because it adds this next layer of pressure. The only way I know how to succeed is be able to walk through the pressure. And for some of you guys, pressure is just putting your information out there because you don't want anybody to steal it, right? I'm like, listen, there's like 500 people who already thought about your idea. The thing is, is that only 1% is out there doing it. There's lots of space. So don't worry about your hoarding idea. Okay, so you get it, great. So 10 out of 10 commitment, awesome, Andrea. Okay, so Kim, 100,000, awesome. So you start to see light and then tell. Now this is where you get intentional or you get um, causal. Walk and talk about it. Like, like thank you that I got a $100,000 a month. Like, I can't believe that I had 10, $10,000 packages sold this month. Like, it's unbelievable to be in a position where I got 10 clients paying me $10,000 and they all paid in full this month, right? Like, it's like, you literally start, you start to, you literally start to say it. So one of the things down, if you're not into God, you won't like this. Okay, so I don't know, maybe you want to say Buddha or, or universe or whatever makes you comfortable. The thing is, is you're a human, you were made by God, so you have authority no matter what you believe. So that's why all this stuff works, because you have authority no matter what you want to put on the end of it. That's why it works, right? And so walk, and here's one that really, this is called a mantra or a belief system that really works for me, is I walk like I'm, like I'm stacked with heaven. And I literally, I do this with my girlfriends who walk with me too. I'm like, imagine like we got the backing of heaven, like move, get out of the way. Like everything needs to align with my intention. If I want $100,000 a month, the only people coming into my ecosystem are people who can afford or can afford my packages, that want to do it, that will figure it out, that are resourceful. Everything needs to move out of my way. I am stacked by heaven. I walk down the street looking like that. I'm not kidding you. And I am telling you, it is immediate. Because you don't always, you don't always know your thing is going to happen, but when you grab your spiritual beliefs and stack yourself with it, you start to go, listen, this isn't even about me anymore because this is so much bigger than me and I am backed, right? And you, like you get taller, you walk stronger, your gut gets sucked in, your posture gets good and you're just like, 
I am, it's not like I'm powerful. It's like, I am backed by heaven and everything needs to move. I have authority here. Self-doubt out of the way, you know, and you just start, I am telling you as woo-woo as that sounds, it works. Like it really works. It really works. Okay, so I wanna know who's gonna try that today. We're gonna take the, the light at the end of the tunnel and you're gonna start, and you're gonna start pushing it out there today. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're literally going to speak out the things that are stopping you and cancel them, make them yield, make them get out of the way. Use your authority. Whether you think this is woo woo or not, the, the reason why the law of attraction got so much ground is because there was enough people that are, were hopeful enough to try it. Do you get what I'm saying? But the law of attraction was actually pulled out of scripture. The, the, the de deceptive piece is when people actually believe that they do something wrong and the law won't work. The law is actually there for you. It's not there for you to obey it. It is actually there to help you. It's the universal law to help you. It's not you serving the universe. Do you guys get that? And so that comes down to self-worth, confidence, knowing your identity, and walking like you're not trying to manipulate the universe to get what you want, but you're actually owning your identity to say, I have identified the things that are getting in my way and you need to move, right? And then you speak into what you want. Money loves speed because what you work on in a day, I, I wanna tell you that my sales team by day three all had enrollments in a day. Okay, doing priority focus time. And so it took me three days to get them there. So I don't know about you, but I'm telling you, I can coach you to success. And then you can coach yourself to success. What you get out of me is what you're willing to put in. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Yes. All right, let's pull Melanie up, Keith. All right, what's up, girl? Oh, let, you're unmuted. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I'm so, so excited. Cool. Yeah. Say that again. I said, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. And I have my ticket to Zone, so I'm going to be at Zone. I booked my hotel. I'm excited to see everybody live. Oh, good. Who's going to Zone event? Put Zone in the chat. Who's going to Zone event? Put Zone event in or Zone in the chat. Okay, that's so cool. Look at all the people going to Zone event. That is so cool, you guys. If you don't know what we're talking about, you need to go to, go to thezoneevent.com. Thezoneevent.com. You need to go there because it will sell out. You guys who are coming to Zone event, I'm so thankful that you're coming. All right, Melanie, I saw one of your notes in one of our groups. And I was like, this woman is like breaking chains. This woman is like getting up in front and she's going after it. And when someone's got that, I'll call it anointing, right? Where, or, or call it favor or call it like momentum. When, when a leader is rising up, anybody who hangs with her or him will rise up that are in close proximity. So as you're kind of starting to do this jump, right, in your life, I would love for you to share what, what happened when you did a list build, what happened in your business. And, and let's just, everybody, I want you to stop multitasking and just start, start like when she speaks, when she reminds me, you of you, just be like, that's happening to me. Okay. So Melanie share. Okay. So, um, I joined, I think in like March or April and one of your coaches said, okay, you don't have a big list, but just get on the phone and start talking to your people. Right. I was so used to just emailing and trying to get them to do stuff that alone, that first step made me about 12 to $15,000 in two weeks. So okay, like, let me okay. break that down. You guys, that is connection is currency. I talked about that yesterday and it worked. So I'm like, okay, that's working. So those little micro wins kept me fo you know, focusing. So then I joined mentor me live and list build. And I started doing my list build. And my first event was in May and I had all kinds of tech problems. It was just like, so discouraging because I had 300 people that registered and only like 25 people showed up. And, well, that, that and we did, we did close. Um, we, we did close a couple of clients. So we made about $12,000 from that event. So it, to me, that wasn't a loss, but we expected out of 300 people. Wow. And, you know, so 
that was a learning curve. But then I said, okay, I'm not going to focus on the tech stuff. I'm going to focus on the 300 people. So yeah. then we did um, Pay another attention event. That. Pay attention to that, you guys. When I did my first zone event, I was like, if I could just break even, right? Like there's obviously there's always offers. There's offers on Shanda On Demand. There's offers in the $7 Mastermind. There's offers in there's no offers in hardcore leadership really right like we're starting to offer like if you want peak performance coaching afterwards you could sign up to talk to us about it but everything there should be an offer because there's always there's always a group of people that want to go deeper with you guys like i'm really pushing on jeff Gronet. you know what i mean like i'm really pushing on him to make another offer because there's a bunch of people in your ecosystem in all of our ecosystems that want more Right. And if you don't make an offer because you're afraid or you're trying to figure it out, all my people out there trying to figure it out, like just make something today, make something up and see what happens and don't be attached to whether people buy or not. You start to realize how many people are active, but your mindset, Melanie, is incredible because it's like, you know, people are like, oh, I only made, I only had 300 people join my list. I'm like, 300 people, if you put them in a room, is a lot. And the way you get them to pay attention is to change your positioning as you go out to the list. Right. Okay. So keep going. So you did. Well, and I learned, I watched what you did in Shanda on demand and I created Melanie on demand and I started driving people from my email list to a Facebook page. Now we have 900 active people in a private Facebook page. So if they don't join our program, they go over there and then they get serious FOMO because we start bringing our success and doing interviews with our clients that are crushing it. And they're seeing what they're missing out on by not being part of the program. And then the biggest thing that, that worked and, and by I, the way- I like that because it creates urgency because you know a lot of people spend months of their life thinking. I mean, yeah. I see it all the time. People leave our community and then they'll just watch on the outskirts. It's like, listen, have you created anything amazing in the last three years? Or what would you right. have created if you would have stayed in the seat? Right? Well, it's like- Powerful. It creates urgency, which is a blessing for all of us to have urgency in our life. Absolutely. So we did two, we did a list builder in May, a list builder in June. We added over a thousand people to our email list, which was awesome. And um, and then that helped me boost my list enough to where now I've been speaking on a lot of other people's stages because I have my list. Yeah. Um, and I realized that I kept getting stuck at that, you know, a few hundred thousand a year or like less than a million a year because I was trying to like continue to do the same things for years and years and years. And so that helped me get over that hump. And then I started speaking on other people's stages. So I spoke on a stage where somebody had 3,500 people in the room um, and 50% of them bought or opted in for my free gift. And what so, was your free gift? Um, so this was an AI summit and I had an AI toolkit. So what I do is I help people write a book and become a best-selling author we help them um, get booked on stages, become a mentor, like actually make seven figures a year. Because we once we got through all that and we started getting at that one million a year mark, I was hitting a million a year for the last 21 years, even during the recession and everything. So I kept fluctuating right around that million dollar mark. And I kept getting stuck between like, you know, three or 400,000 a year. And then finally to the million. And I couldn't seem to get beyond that. Yeah. Um, I thought most people are like, Hey, a million a year. That's pretty good. Right. Well, just so you know, most people never hit it again. I don't know. I'm not connected with the percentage. It was years ago. I looked, but like a lot of people will hit a million and I don't know why they don't hit it again. A lot of people, but I, I could guess because people get comfortable. They're like, check done that. Like the easiest Ironman to do, which I know it sounds crazy. Like an Ironman race is the first one you do because most people train like crazy for it. And then what happens is they do the other ones if they do any other ones and they get lazier and lazier and lazier because there's no more, you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing there. There's almost like no tension or urgency that pulls them up. Okay, so so you gave a free gift in AI, spoke on the stage, yep. you had 50% take your opt-in. I so got another 1,500 people on my list. Um, and then I've been speaking on a lot of other stages. Um, and what I do now is I, so this last event I did, which was my first type of event like that in July, yep. um, my only speakers were my clients. I did a panel 
where they came in and talked about what moved the needle for them. And I'm telling you that was the, the, I didn't expect, I only put in an hour for it and we went two and a half hours because people were so excited to see other people that were just one step ahead of them, yeah. right? Even if they were just 25% ahead of where that person was, now they could see themselves. Did you do that happen. virtually or did you do that live? It was all virtual. We did it. So I committed, number one, I committed to a three-day summit, no matter what, live every single month. I booked it out for the next year. So based on what we did on this one. I so love we, women like this. I love it. <laughs> so good. That so we did. And I'll tell you, I've been doing live events. I haven't done the list builder till I met you. And it really, really works, guys. It really works. Um, and if you get like, if you have, like, I look at it as, uh, yeah, I had some what could be perceived as setbacks but i feel like if you learn and you grow then there's no failure right if you learn something or you grow and you get better and your team gets better it's like you're driving down this road in your lamborghini and you hit a pothole that can be fixed it's temporary you fix it then the road you're back on the road again and i just and by the way everybody you should all get the suv lamborghini because it's pretty cute <laughs> just kidding <laughs> But you got it. But even if you have a Lamborghini and you don't have GPS and you don't have gas and, you know, you don't know where you want to go, you're, you're not going to have the success. You know, you're not going to be able to drive it anywhere. Yeah. And all of us have a Lamborghini in us. We're all Lamborghinis. If you look at what we're capable of and we're not putting good gas in that car. Right. Yeah. And so I found through all of this, I discovered there were three things that were most critical for me. And number one was I had to get clear on my offer. What's my offer? What am I going to charge? Who's it helping? How much is it? You know, what's the value? What's the stack? Number two, I needed to get clear on my audience. Who's my audience? Who am I serving? Who do I want to attract? Where are they? Where do I find them? And the third thing is the funnel. Like those are the things for me that, that converted the most at this event. So when we finally did our three-day summit at the end of July, we ended up doing $55,000 and we had... Uh, a great group. And guess what? Um, only two people did not show up, right? And the people that showed up stayed all three days. Mm -hmm. They were bought in. And I, I have to share with you guys, because to me, this was like the thing that was the most important to me that made it worth it was um, I got this, uh, I got a couple of emails after that training. Um, and one of them said, I found you during Project Next Level with Dean Graciosi and Tony Robbins, because I was a speaker on their event, right? And, uh, and I, they featured me. And she said, um, up till then, they were my mentors. But now I'd say that my leading mentor is you, right? Aww. Like that, to have somebody tell you that you're their mentor, you know, because of the content that you're sharing, the knowledge that we already have, that we're hiding inside of ourselves, because fear and doubt is driving yeah. that Lamborghini, right? And so um, it says, yes, my kids are my top priority but I'm all in. I'm hundred percent dedicated to this. I will always show up for you, my kids, myself, my clients, and my passion. That was somebody that came in and bought the program, right? Like it was just amazing to see like everything you want to happen happens and it may not happen at the level, but here's the cool part. We're doing another one next month at the end of August. Okay. We just hired a full-time tech team. We took all that money that we made. We took 50% of that 55,000 and we put it into paid ads. And I know that's a different model right here, but we're driving. So what we're doing every week is a free webinar once a week. So we're driving traffic to the free webinar with our email list and everything we're doing is driving everything to that one webinar. And then we're driving traffic to the summit. So the webinar is like a free webinar that drives them to come to the three-day summit. And that has worked extremely well. Now we're on track. Are you at the selling something on the webinar? Are you selling the summit? Is it, are you? So we're selling, we did a paid ticket for $49 and they could bring a friend for free. And on the webinar, every week, that's a free webinar. If they sign up that day within 24 hours, um, that's the runway that you taught me, then they get to upgrade to VIP for free. The, uh, the VIP is 147. It includes, you know, recordings of the event, all of that. And most people, they come because they want to oh, learn. But how I want to make sure is we don't go too much in the weeds because people will be like, yeah. what? Yeah, 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 yeah no, I don't want to get that. too complicated. 
Yeah, but and I also, I also know you have a hard stop in two minutes. So yeah, thank you. But here's the here's what's cool. Based on the numbers, and remember the numbers. This is math, not magic, right? This is manifestation and math. But based on those numbers, now all we have to do is drive a hundred people to our event in August, which we're on track already from just the webinars. And if we get a hundred people at that event, we will do half a million dollars at that event. We'll do 500,000. Yeah, that's great. Um, we should talk deeper. She's in Meant to Be Live, you guys. If anybody's watching, you have a desire to come study with her, Meant to Be Live, put mentor in the chat. If you want to, if you have a desire to come study with Melanie and Meant to Be Live, put the word mentor in the chat. That's how we could actually see you. Um, and by the way, that's not even me thinking of it. It's just like you're a high caliber woman, you're already doing great stuff. I love the fact of you doing half a million at the web, at, at the, at a virtual event. And I could tell you, I could take it to, I could take it to a million. Like we, have, we have a, we, like we, you've got lots of space in between here, but you've got, you, you can actually like monetize going in. So like, for instance, oh yeah, that's our goal a million a month. I know we're going to get there before the end of the year, you know, yeah, and, but, and, and but what if we can get you there in the next 60 days? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm in 35 days like Sonia. Right. And so, and so when you guys look at this type of stuff, it's like, this is why proximity really matters and what level that we actually speak at and access at. But like, for instance, we got a funnel right now that we get 200%, 200%. So if we spend $40,000, we make $117,000 cash. Okay, and that's before we get to our offer. Okay, and so so there's things you can do that you can access. Stay with me, Melanie. Stop ch uh, chatting. Um, there's things that you can do that actually put your funnel in a position that that qualifies people more, and you can actually make money on your ad spend, which is great because what happens with ad spend is you have a much colder audience. Right much colder. And the number one thing that can kill your profitability in a company is ad spend. You know what I mean? A lot of times people don't even know if their ad spend person is good or not good. That's, that's a huge scenario, right? So anyway, send me a message on Instagram so I can jam with you a little bit on this. You guys give Melanie so much love. Seriously, give her so much love. Remember that she was saying, you've got a Lamborghini in you. If you hate that word Lamborghini, I'm telling you, watch the judgment on money. Because when you put your grandbabies in the back of a Lamborghini SUV, it's not this, it, it's, it's just a different game. Do you know what I mean? It's just a different game. It's more comfortable. It feels like a cockpit of a, of a plane and has a different experience. Call it perception. And I know people judge people on this all the time. I used to be one, right? But when you, when you look at the world from the inside of a limousine, the world looks different absolutely i will can i say one thing before i leave there were three yep. words that shifted hurry because i got i got to shut down the life three words that shifted for me and it was from w clement stone who was a billionaire a hundred years ago and funded napoleon hill's foundation for think and grow rich mm -hmm. and he said do it now so yeah. he said a hundred times a day do it now so i stopped putting things off i do it now my team does it now that was another major shift so thank you so much for having baby. me you Good are so you welcome. Going. You guys give Melanie some love. Thank All right, you. girl. Bye, Melanie. Send me a message on Instagram. Um, you guys, that's why I say money loves speed, right? And so success leaves clues. And, and you can see it all over the place. So we're going to end this slide. We're going to say this. Notice what she said. She, she had to get clear on her offer. Um, if you're at that stage, that's great. Do you go, she already had some sort of a list, and she's already had some experience working with the list. Right. If you're in a position where you're just starting a business, you do not need to get clear on your offer. You need to get clear on your audience. That was one of the things she said. She had to get clear on her avatar. Do not overthink this. Let me tell you something. What's the group of people that you would love to run with for the rest of your life? That's it. Who do you want to work with for the rest of your life? Oh, my product can be good for everyone. What, just what group do you want? Who lights you up that you want to have dinner with like all the time? That if you went to a retreat or a room, you would love to hang out and jam with them. They're like, they got your value systems, they're your people. You guys get what I'm saying? That's your avatar. Just simplify it. Some of you guys have been trying to figure out your avatar for like four years, like just stop. Just, it's the people you authentically like, period. Now they'll tell you what the offer is. You just ask them. 
You just pick the industry or the field and you say, what are three things, if it's relationship, what are three things that are working in, in your relationship? What are three things that you struggle with? That's the survey, right? If you're in fitness, maybe you're in weight loss, where are three areas that really work for you to stay in shape, right? And, and nurture your body. And where are three areas that sabotage you staying at a healthy weight? They'll tell you, right? So you have to do a survey to, to determine your product. You can always make money if you have an audience, always. But crazy, in, crazy income. And I'm telling you, like, please don't ever say like, I make enough. No, you don't. That is selfish. Because there are nonprofits out there. There are people who are called to get into the, the jungles and go save little children from human trafficking. Like, it's time for us to stop just being good. I'm good in an apartment. I'm good in my, my, my lakefront home. You know what I mean? Like, I am not teaching anybody how to grow businesses for you to be good. I'm looking to create a world through hardcore that we go past where we're good, that we start identifying. Like, I am thankful that people go get women out of human trafficking and especially children, right? Like, like I have a little kid. I cannot imagine somebody touching him. Do you know what I mean? Like that, that's just a, it's like, like that is just a, and that somebody's baby is getting hurt right now. Like while we sit on here, like, like we need to wake the F up and realize that your money is not just for your comfort. So I never want to hear somebody say, I'm good. This is all I need. I don't need a Lamborghini. Come on. Yes, you do. You know what I mean? Even if you take that money and you commit it to somebody who has a heart that you don't have the time to go do. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't have the ability to get into the field and go pull the babies out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, that is not, I would stop showing up here for you guys, that's for sure. My best impact is with you and encouraging you to free up some cash that you don't just do a one-off because you got something in the mail and you put 20 miserable bucks. Not saying you shouldn't do that, but I'm saying, come on. Let's commit to a bigger game. Let's start committing $5,000 a month to, to an organization that's going and cleaning up our world, cleaning up the ocean, cleaning up. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys care about? Go in the chat. Is it the ocean? Is it like stray cats and dogs? Is it, you know, uh, children in the foster system? Is it, what is it? What do you care about? Go in the chat and let us know. Like, don't sit there and listen to me. That's just weak. Don't be weak, be a warrior. Go in the chat and what do you care about, right? Like, what do you care about? And do you know an organization that is helping in that area? Because that's your partner and that's a reason. And I don't say this lightly. I'm saying, how dare any of us care about something and not say, you know what, I honor you for doing that part of the world. I'm gonna help you in the way that I can. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Because these guys all need money. And please let's not be like, well, the person running it shouldn't get any money. I want 100% of my money to only go to, the, well, if you didn't get paid, would you keep showing up? Like, can I just go to my vet or my doctor and just say, I expect you to make no money, but I expect you to serve me. Like, let's stop this crazy entitlement scenario out there in the world. And let's start making a commitment. So I'm going to challenge you today. I'm going to move to VIP in a second. I'm going to challenge you today to go reach out to an organization and commit to something monthly. Okay. If it's only $20, because that's what you can, that's what you can stretch into, then, then commit to 20 a month and put it on reoccurring. But some of you guys, you'll make more money if you commit to 500 a month. $1,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month. Like play that game. And when you play that game and you literally are connected with the organization because the next level is go meet them, go connect with them, go see what your money's doing out there in the world. I'm telling you, most of you need a bigger hook, a bigger reason to show up. And that bigger hook eliminates frustration 
eliminates indecisiveness because you don't have you don't have time to be indecisive because you have a partnership happening and you need to keep your side of the partnership is that fair yes so some of you guys will do this but i'm really curious how many of you guys are going to go contact an organization today and make a commitment of a reoccurring something today put i am put i am in the chat how many of you guys are committed put i am by the way that's a strong i am i am a contributor i am someone who makes a difference in the world i am someone that heaven backs because this is who i am i am somebody who partners with people who make this world a better place right you don't have to get into the field you need to make the money to get into to help other people get in that's called team i didn't build hardcore with shanda I built hardcore with Shanda, Teresa, Jonathan, Gene Bills. You get what I'm saying? Chris Britton. Like I built heart Keith, right? I built hardcore with other people who have a compassionate heart for you. Where are you contributing? I'm going to end on Shanda on demand on that today. All right, you guys go, go make that call like right now. Bye guys.